Junkyard wins the rally. The city of Cork, departure point for three intrepid birdmen aiming to make the first balloon flight from Ireland to England for over a hundred years. At Collins Barracks, square bashing and drill sergeants had to make way for the German balloonists and their equipment. They're one of three independent teams of balloonists who've been in the news just recently challenging the Irish Sea. Checking the navigation lights, George Teese, the pilot, with Mr. Joyce, the Irish navigator. Film director Teese was hoping to shoot an important sequence for a film he's making about ballooning around the world. But the other attempts to cross the Irish Sea had met with frustration and disaster. Believe it or not, one chap, starting from Dublin, had his balloon stolen. Two Canadians crashed into the sea. As for the Germans, they were to meet their moment of truth even before the start. Herr Heydrich, the co-pilot, strolls pensively around the half-filled balloon on the evening before liftoff. But during the night, the weather changed dramatically with unexpectedly strong winds. And in the morning, this was all that remained of the Enterprise. The balloon's fabric had been ripped to shreds, gone with the wind, together with all their high hopes. Instead of up, up and away, it was down, down and stay. <laughs> <laughs>